What's up, people? What's up? <laughs> oh, hey, we're back at the shop. We're in from the boonies. The boonies are done. We're done with the boonies. No more boonie docking, right, baby? That's right. I've proved it. <laughs> She's ready to go again, people. But hey, today's video that we're going to work on is... Uh, we keep saying, oh, there's a few little tweaks. There's a few little tweaks. Well, today is tweak day, people. We got some little fixes that we need to do. So Some little projects. Yeah, so Shelly put them on a list, and uh, I'm going to knock a few of them off. Maybe I get the whole list done. Ooh, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I'm going to try, see how many I can get done. These were little things that we experienced while we were out there at Man, at Man Creek, so... It was like, let's make a list while we're out here, and then we never did. I'll show you the list, and then we'll work through some of them today. Okay, people, there's the list. The bathroom door, it's warped a little bit, and the groove on the bottom that lets it slide, I need to open that up. When the bus wasn't perfectly level, we couldn't keep the door shut, so we need to put some, I think I'm going to put magnetic catches on them. The front door, the strike plate on the front door is cracked, so I don't know if I need to weld that or need to do something with that. Trim the closet boards. Oh, the boards that we slide the totes in over, they can, if they're a little bit lower, it's a whole lot easier to get the totes out, so we need to trim them down. Thermometer to the wall. Maybe I'll do that one first. That's an easy fix. <laughs> and... This is awesome, people. I already started yesterday. We're going to put a flagpole in one of our front receivers so we can have a flagpole. And, and the front steps, that big steel step, is pretty awkward for us to get in and out. The leveling boards, they are just regular 2x10s or 2x12s. They're breaking whenever we drive on them. They're starting to break apart, so we need a solution for that. The garbage can keeps scooting away from the cabinet, so you have to scoot it over before the lid will open. The driver's seat's missing a bolt, and we can, the airline that's for the seat is flopping around and back. We need to clip it in place with a zip tie. So. They're all little fixes. So we'll see how far we can get through this. It's a gloomy, kind of almost rainy day too, so it's a great day to be inside working. <laughs> Plus, when I got back to the bus the other day, Shelly had these new hand towels. They're so me. I had to get them. <laughs> I was like, I can't wipe my hands on that. It's too pretty. But there you go. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna tackle that door. Show them how it hangs up. <clears throat> oh, this. Yeah, I, I, it's heavy too. Well, it's got a mirror and everything on it, but the track at the bottom is there. You see. It gets a shimmy. It shakes and shimmies. So what it's doing, it's grabbing on that bottom track. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to do that first. Good job. It's fix it, Dave. Here's one that's not on the list. My lid broke. Uh, my little lid thing broke. So I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Here we go. Because your lovely wife bought you a new one. <laughs> See how long this fix takes. <laughs> oh yeah. The question is, oh man, it's tight when it's new. Oh. First fix of the day right there, people. My lid is fixed. <laughs> Maybe uh, most people might not know that we just took closet door hardware and split the thing in two for our sliding doors. So without the cleat down there, you can see it slides real smooth. But this is the little cleat at the bottom that keeps it from swinging around. And so the groove that that thing runs on has gotten a little bit too tight. We had the same problem with this one up here and we loosened it up and mm -hmm. took care of it. So hopefully should be able to just tip this over, pop it out just like a closet door. See the groove on the bottom? Yep. And, uh, open that puppy up, huh? I'll go open that up and hopefully that will allow us to use the facilities without shaking the other one. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at my crazy husband. 
He's bringing the door back on a heister. I got baby, it. Baby, what are you doing? I got it ready to go back in. <laughs> but on a heister, seriously. It's the Bowman way. <laughs> Why would I carry it? There was a heister sitting right there. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see if this solves the problem. There we go. She slides good. Now we just need the cleat. Well, I took the cleat and I tapered, I feathered the edges a little bit more to make sure that it wasn't trying to grab on the edge of those, but oh, it, nice. it was warped. I could see a oh. little bow in it. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Does it slide? Slick? Oh, yeah. Slick good that way. It was going back. Oh, it didn't slide good going back? That's when it would wiggle. Oh, that sounds so much smoother. I mean, these doors with the closet hardware, if you slide them fast, they got a little bit of shimmy in them. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, looks much better. Okay. Mark that one off the list. Got her dead. Got her dead. The bathroom door slides freely now. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if we can get the doors to stay shut. Because originally I had planned on locking these doors shut when we went down the road. Yeah, I thought we... it would insulate the noise better, but... But we don't really have to. Hmm, look at this cool little cleat you made. Okay, guys. I have to say, this took way more fiddling around than yeah. I wanted to spend on it. I recessed it into the molding. I bent it a couple different configurations, and then I had to stack washers behind it. And finally, I mean, I basically would not recommend doing this this way. It opens much easier. So. Yeah, we've got the right pull on it and everything. Yeah. It's just fiddly. Yeah, that's so, what you wanted. So, yeah, so this is perfect. Taking it off the list. Another one off the list. Let's check it off. I'll do it with a sharpie. Oh, Randy. I want it really marked. Randy off. likes sharpie marks, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a struggle one. The struggle catch. <laughs> But it's done. It's done. It's done. So. I'm not doing the other door because we don't really need one. The biggest problem was when the bus wasn't level and the door wanted to slide open and, and the windows were open, people could see you on the potty. Yeah. Yeah. So. Problem solved. Problem solved. These have been working fine, but the issue is I got a little carried away with the height on this lip. So especially, it's not as hard for me, but for Shelly, it's hard to get these up over the lip and get them out. I'll just take them off and go lower them down three-eighths of an inch, soften the edges and put them right back on. All right, I'll go trim this down and then you can check it for your approval. Okay. Okay, the board is trimmed, right? Yep. And she's going back in. That's why I love putting everything together with screws. You can just always unscrew it. Redo it. Recycle it. Reuse it. Beta test one. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is a huge difference because they fit. They're not as tight up here. Yeah. I just tried to uh, get as much in there as I could. So. so and they're not going to go anywhere. No, we still got plenty of lip down there to catch them. All right, I'll just take the boards off. Beautiful. Take them down and put them back. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to take it off the list. And this has all gotten tedious, guys. I'm like tired of working on this crap. <laughs> Shelly's editing videos. Uh, so... I think I'm gonna go work on the flagpole. This is easy right here. Oh yeah, I can knock that one out. Okay, that was super easy. Drilled two holes, put two screws in it. I like that one. There we go. 
Okay guys, this one's more fun. I'll make a flagpole holder right here on the front of the bus. I already put these receivers in there when I had the front end of the bumper all tore off. So all I gotta do is weld a piece of pipe on here. I don't know, it should go down pretty easy, I think. Okay guys, there's my flagpole holder. And I'm very disappointed because it was a bitch to get that thing level because the bus, the, the receiver was just built into the framework that was there. So I diddled around a long time. I finally got that level. But this flagpole's a piece of crap. I just put it up and down once and I was like, holy crap, I don't want to deal with that. I think I'm going to cut my losses on the flagpole and move on with my life. Uh, flagpole I did, but it's a bust. And that we get a big frowny face. Okay guys, here's one on the list. <clears throat> this anvil needs a quarter inch hole in it. When I was doing my wire work, I could have put a quarter inch pin in there and used it to bend stuff around. So I'm gonna add a quarter inch hole to this anvil. <laughs> That's my kind of job. Okay guys, here's another one. Up here in the driver's seat where the airline comes in for the seat controller. This is sticking out here and that's where we put the blankets that we block the front end of the bus off with. So I've been worried about that getting damaged. So I'm just gonna drill a couple holes in the back of this and Tie that thing up under there so it can't get pushed around. This should be a pretty simple one too. Okay guys, there you see. I just got a little zip tie there. It's got that airline tucked up underneath there. And now when the seat goes forward and back or when we pile these blankets back in here, we don't have to worry about kinking the hose or jostling it around. So that's a done deal. Okay, guys, here's a little ticky-tacky one. This trash can has the step-on pedal. When you step on the pedal of this trash can to open the lid, the can pivots away from the wall, and then the lid interferes with the table. And so, anyways, I came up with this little cleat. Actually, I'm going to hook it to the floor with double-stick tape in that way. If we change the trash can or something, we can just pull it up. And But it's quite annoying when the, when the can has gotten twisted sideways and you step on it. So this should be the fix for that. So basically, I'm going to stick this thing down to the floor with this double stick tape. We'll try it and see if we like it. This tape will probably be enough to hold it anyhow, but if it's not... Once we're committed to it, I'll just drill a couple holes and screw it down to the floor. And go right there like that. Now the garbage can will just sit on top of that. There it is. Can't really tell that I did anything because it kind of looks like part of the garbage can down there. And now, Step on the can, and it's not jumping off the wall. Where has my life come to, YouTube? <laughs> I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> my garbage can stands still. Sweet. Okay, moving on down the list now. Okay, I got the garbage can locked in place. I got the clip on the airline. The leveling board's... I don't have the material to make the leveling board yet, and I need another person to help me bolt down the seat. Oh, but I did drill the hole in the anvil. <laughs> I don't have too many left here. So this one might be a little finicky, and it's awful quiet here today, so it's a perfect day to try it. So here's the deal with the front door latch. It broke down here cracked. It still works because it's tucked behind the lip there on, that's cut into the bus frame, but um, 
I think I can make a replacement for this. Let's see what happens. Okay, guys, here's, here's what was wrong with the front door latch. That thing broke there. So I had to overcut those to be able to fold it, but uh, this is way heavier. And down here where it broke, I added extra width to it. So I don't, I don't see this being a problem now. Oh, I'm gonna step out here and see if she matches. Feeling pretty positive about it. Yeah. Ooh, nice. So, I don't know if you noticed, but before this was starting to bounce a little bit. It was, yeah. Yeah, this is really a heavy door, so. I think that's excellent to take I, it off the list. Another one off the list, right? Yeah, I kicked, kicked several of them off today. I thought I could do all this in one day, YouTube. That's how it works. This is day two, <laughs> one the, and a half. Yeah, the list is almost <laughs> complete. Marking off the list, huh? I am so, <laughs> it's going away. Front door, it should have said latch, but whatever. Front door latch is done. That front step, I ordered it off of Amazon, so that's done. So today, since you're around, I'm ashamed to say it, but I've been driving around with one bolt missing from the driver's seat, so <laughs> I just never got it put back in. <laughs> the hole was messed up and I had to straighten out the frame and I did that, but then I just never put the bolt back in, so I'm gonna do that. Okay guys, we're trying to, let me get my fingers in here and I'll hold it down. Okay, now put the nut on. And I'll hold it with my fingers until you get the nut on. This is a, we're here at the driver's chair. Okay? Yep. Okay, socket's going on. Okay. And hopefully he can tighten it up. Oh, there we go. It went tight, guys. Got it? Yep. There you go. Hey, that was an easy fix. That's another one off the list, people. Okay guys, here's our new steps for the front door and this is working out so great. Um, as you can see on the legs, they're adjustable and um, it's just, it's so sturdy and so wonderful. You may notice that we're on gravel instead of asphalt. So stay tuned to find out why. So with those steps coming in, that's pretty much the last thing on our list, except for um, the boards for leveling up the bus. And Randy's still working on those. So we're gonna go ahead and consider this list of tweaks completed. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. And we will just catch you in the next one. And stay tuned to find out where we're at.